In this session, we are going to see about the thyristor. It is also called as SCR, silicon control rectifier. So, as you know already, thyristor is a four layer. The layers are P, N and P, N. Okay, four layers are there and three junctions. This is junction 1 and this is junction 2 and this is junction 3. Three junctions are there. So, it has three terminals called anode, cathode and gate. So, SCR is a solid state device. It is also compact in size and possesses high reliability and have low loss. So, SCR is made up of silicon. It acts as a rectifier. It has very low resistance in the forward direction and high resistance in the reverse direction. It is an unidirectional device. Now we can see the static VA characteristics of a thyristor. So this is the circuit diagram. The anode and cathode terminals are connected to the battery. That is anode is connected to the positive and the cathode is connected to the negative through the load. Also the gate signal is given to this gate in bit by the source ES in between gate and cathode terminals. Okay. Now we can see the characteristics. So when we see this there are three modes of operations. What are the modes? So first one is reverse blocking mode, forward blocking mode and forward conduction mode. We can see one by one. First we can see about the reverse blocking mode. So, in this mode, the connection is like this. So, this anode is connected to the negative terminal and the cathode is connected to the positive terminal. This gate is left open. So, under this condition, the junctions J1 and J3 are reverse biased. Okay. So, these two are reverse biased and junction 2 this is forward biased ok so now the device acts as a as two diodes are connected in series so take this so it is like this ok the connection is it appears like this so two diodes which are connected in series so negative terminal and this is positive terminal okay this is so it, it looks like this okay so in in under this condition there will be no current flow but a small leakage current flows okay so this so see here this is the small leakage current but may, it may be in the range of uh, few milli amps okay so it is called it is called reverse blocking mode so if the reverse voltage is increased at a point or at a voltage a reverse breakdown voltage okay so at this point the current starts increasing in the reverse direction so this mode is called reverse blocking mode okay this uh, because of this mode there will be more losses in the SCR. So it results in thyristor damage as junction temperature may exceed its maximum temperature rise. Okay, second one is forward blocking mode. So under this condition the connection will be like this that is the positive okay this is second connection okay this uh, this anode will be connected to the positive terminal and the cathode will be connected to the negative terminal okay it is the connection but the gate si the gate signal is not given so gate is left open okay under this condition what will happen this junctions j1 and J3 are forward biased. 
okay forward biased what about this junction 2 this is reverse biased okay reverse biased so the when forward voltage is less than vbo okay so this state is called forward blocking state so under this condition uh, the switch acts an open switch okay the thyristor acts an open switch in the uh, forward blocking mode so the switch is in off state okay so third one is forward conduction mode so in this condition the connection will be same as like this the anode is connected to the positive terminal cathode is connected to the negative terminal and also the gate signal is given okay so see the previous circuit diagram gate signal is given through this source okay the gate signal is given to this gate now what will happen so there will be current flow there will be current flow so in this case there are to make the thyristor uh, conduct there are two ways one way is giving the gate signal to the gate to the gate terminal okay by doing like by doing this signal it will be turned on and the current starts flowing okay these are the different gates gate current level gate signal level ig1 ig2 ig3 and all okay another method if you keep on increasing this forward break forward voltage okay after this break over voltage the current starts flowing after this break over voltage the thyristor starts conducting okay there are two methods in this um, forward conduction mode so first one is by giving the gate signal second one is by exceeding the forward break over voltage so there are two methods to make the thyristor or scr conduct okay so under this uh, conduction mode um, that is a forward conduction mode it is uh, it is it is like a closed switch the voltage drop okay this is the voltage drop the voltage drop will be in the order of 1 to 2 millivolt okay so uh, we have seen the static vi characteristics so in this we must know these two important terms what is latching current what is holding current okay so what is latching current the latching current may be defined as the minimum value of anode current which a thyristor should attain during the turn on process to maintain the conduction even if the gate signal is removed okay so if, uh, only if the if the anode current is having this minimum level then only the thyristor will be maintaining its conduction even if the gate signal is removed so this is that current then what is holding current so it is the minimum minimum value of anode current below which if it falls okay if the anode current falls below this minimum value the scr will turn off okay so this minimum value of anode current is called holding current okay so these are all about the thyristor or scr thank you